Let's perform a simple simulation using Roxim to learn how the program works. So when you first start Roxim, you're going to get a screen like this. And what I want you to do is to open a design. So go up here to the File Open button and look into the design folders. Now if you can't find the design folder, it's in the same folder where the Roxim application is stored. And then open up an existing design, like here's the Estes Alpha. We'll click Open. And what you'll see is a picture of the rocket down at the bottom. Now it could be in 2D or 3D. Right now mine is showing 3D. And to get a 2D view, click this 3D button over here on the side and select the side view. And so now you see a side view of the rocket. Um, you can also go back to 3D view at any time um, and you can rotate the rocket around by clicking and dragging on the screen and you can look at the rocket from any angle. I'm going to go back to 2D and what I want to do is to put in a rocket motor. For that we're going to go up here for the prepare for launch button which is this one right here. It's next to the launch button so first we have to prepare for launch. So go ahead and click on that and this shows the rear view of the rocket along with what Roxim thinks is the engine mount tube. And right now it's showing an 18 millimeter motor. Um, and you can see it's kind of highlighted here on the bottom. So that's the tube that Roxim thinks it's going to put it into. And so go ahead and click on the choose engine button. And right now it's showing all the engines that match this motor mount diameter. So we have Aerotech, Estes, and Quest motors right here. And I'm going to choose an Estes B6 motor, and then I'm going to choose the ejection delay. Now this is like a B6, and if you click on this, it'll tell you what delays are available. We have a 6, 4, 2, 0, custom, and plugged. Plugged means that the motor does not have an ejection charge. Custom means you can set it to any value you want. Um, I'm going to choose a four second delay and um, then click OK. And then when you come back to this screen, you can see that the motor is now loaded in the rocket. And to run a launch, we're going to just click on either the launch button or the flight profile button. They both do the same thing. It's going to launch the rocket. But if you also click on the flight profile button, when it runs the simulation, it also gives you a 2D flight profile of what the rocket trajectory will look like. So down here in the bottom we have the rocket and if I click this button over here it's kind of like the launch button and the rocket takes off. You can see it's coasting upwards and at some point the parachute pops out and then the rocket starts drifting back down to the ground. Now these dots here on the screen are laid out one second apart. So when the dots are at the same distance apart, you can see that it's descending at a constant speed. When they are moving apart, the rocket's accelerating. When they start getting closer together, the rocket is decelerating, getting slower. Um, and then down here on the, on the bottom, we have a little slider bar. We can slide this all the way down to the ground to see you know, where the flight ends. Um, and it shows the current altitude and then the current range of the rocket. So if I back it up on the time using the slider, um, the apogee point approximately 177 meters and our range is 24 meters. Um, down here on the bottom, which is kind of off screen right here, uh, is a cancel button and this will take us back to the main screen of Roxim and the last simulation is always highlighted. So you can see our rocket was a B64, and, I, and this is the actual peak altitude, 177.75 meters. Um, it also gives us our speed and our maximum acceleration. So now you have run a simple simulation. So go ahead and open up other designs, load a motor, and run a simulation. And then the next time, we'll do something a little bit different.